Hey, you guys, I want to share two visions that I had. One was from about a week or two ago, of which I wish I had shared before because it's already come to pass. In this first vision that I had, I ended up seeing Dr. Martin Luther King, and it reminded me of the monument that's there in Washington, D.C., downtown. And I was like, Lord, that's Dr. King. And the first thing I said, oh, I have a dream. I have a dream. And the next thing that I saw after seeing him was this big, large, empty chair. But it wasn't like your typical chair, like at a table or at like even a an office chair was more solidified. It's like it was made out of cement or, you know, marble of some sort, just a very, you know, solidified, hard, you know, I'm not going anywhere type of chair. So I was like, okay, Lord, I was trying to process and think this through and, you know, talking with God about it. I figured, okay, it's something in DC. It's something political. You know, maybe it has something to do with the Supreme Court, but I was watching the news to see what was going to happen. And I wish I had brought this up before, but alas, what can I do? And lo and behold, look at it this week. You know, I don't recall his name, but the um, one Supreme Court justice stated that he is going to be resigning. And I believe there was a whole conference about it yesterday. And uh, President Biden and, you know, others, you know, gave a press conference and talked about it, but that he's going to be resigning this particular uh, justice. So I figured, okay, Lord, that's probably, you know, what that particular vision was about. But this second vision I had actually about a couple of days ago, and I saw this individual coming up out of the water. It didn't look human, but it looked like a human, I should say human like the color of it was off and it just looked extra large, more so than, you know, your typical human. Um, and, and how do I say in form of a man, I should say, but with the body build of a man, but the color was off. And so I say that they're human like, but uh, I saw this individual again coming out of an, uh, out of a body of water. And after I saw them again, the scene changed and immediately I saw a desk. And this desk, you know, there was nobody sitting behind this desk. The desk, you know, there was nobody in the room. I didn't see anybody in the room. And the desk, uh, nobody was in the chair. Nobody was behind the desk. It was just empty. And so I said, let me share this with you. I'm not going to add anything else to it. I'm speculating and I have an idea, okay, well, Lord, what this means. And, you know, I see a lot of people I can, you know, begin to hear, hear already what everybody would probably say in regards to what this means. But again, something for you to pray about. You present that before God and see what he has to say, talk with him about that and see where he's leading you and guiding you. This may be confirmation for some. And so, um, but those are the two visions that I had. One came past, you know, uh, we've seen already come to pass here in this past week. Uh, today is what, January the 28th, 2022, when I'm recording this. And so one has already come to pass. The second one, we'll see what happens um, and we'll go from there. But let's just pray. Okay, you guys pray, pray, pray and um, trust in God and allow him to lead us and guide us. And, you know, um, I'm just grateful that Lord, the Lord is sharing with us in this season. You know, I see different ones. They'll write in, hey, I had a similar vision. I had a similar dream. And I really, really appreciate that. And I look forward to reading that. It makes me feel because sometimes I'm like, Lord, am I crazy? I'm like, oh my goodness, where does all this stuff come from? But, you know, God is good and he is faithful and he talks with us and he lets his children know ahead of time what's going to happen, what to expect, even if it's, you know, moments before it happens, but he will do it. So uh, talk with God about it, pray about this, you know, don't take anything that I have to say at face value. And um, I look forward to seeing you again next time. I want to make this short. So, but I look forward to seeing your comments below. Definitely like, subscribe, share uh, um, this particular video, and I will see you next time. Take care. Ciao, you guys.